Hello and welcome to Ket FM, the show you can't find on your radio. I am your host, as always, Hayden, aka Ket, and join with me is Chloe. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another week of news, Michael Bay, and other assorted shenanigans. Michael Bay? Yeah, because you're playing Just Cause 4 today, Uh, which has a lot of exploding things. Yeah, but except I'm going to play it in the most boring way I can. So like how nice. I was trying to do with um, Assassin's Creed last week. Oh, I did. Gonna... Uh, how did that go? That was actually quite fun. It's um, nice. I had to. The very first thing I had to do was climb up a building because that's where the fucking mission started. But oh yeah, all oh, right, you were doing that challenge thing, weren't you? Yeah, where I could yeah, climb I or, or kill anyone outside of missions. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like I'm like, okay, so here's my here's my objective marker. So I get to it. And I'm like, it's on top of the building, isn't it? Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Then I had to kill a guy, and then I had to escape, which means more climbing buildings. Yeah, more more killing. More More killing and climbing. Yeah. It's like, this game is just designed for killing and climbing. But uh, this Mm. time I'm going to attempt to not use the grappling hook slash um, parachute slash wingsuit. Infinite parachute? Yeah. More like finite parachutes. I'm stick to the ground, either walking or driving. And I'll try find like shitty cars, and um, mm. I won't kill anyone outside of missions either. So those are my restrictions again. So no grapple hook, and no killing outside of missions. Because you know, nice. All right. kind yeah, of, kind of yeah. That's All illegal. Right. It's illegal, right? Let's swap over. You the devs will come to your house. You can see in here just fine. Oh yeah, I can see your screen. Oh, that's laggy though. Is it? I might not be able to watch. Heck. Um, alright. Yeah. I forgot what I was up to. Um, so you've just... played a bit? Yeah, I've played... Not like heaps of it, but... Oh, shit. Uh, I've um, unlocked quite a bit of the map so far. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, I've forgotten what I was doing though. I think I was on my way to a mission. Uh, let's pick up a mission that's ages away. That way I can spend some... Let's do this one way over here. Alright, now let's find myself a vehicle. Um, what's this over here? Oh, it's not even a vehicle, it's a bus stop. <laughs> oh, it's a newsstand. <laughs> I just want to use the grapple hook so I can fly around. Yeah, yeah, so you can just fly around, but it's yeah. illegal. It's illegal, no grapple hook. The devs hook will is... come and steal your microwave. Yeah, they will come and steal your base. I'm allowed to because I play base. Alright, I, go. I guess there's no vehicles right now, so I'm just on foot. <laughs> do do do, now's a good time to maybe start on the news. Have you found any? Any good stuff? Yeah, we got, we got, like, hold on, I need to, um, turn my fan around because it's hot in this room because my feet are right next to my PC. Oh, nice. And then the heat's just rising up the body. Oof. Um, we got the biggest PC gaming stories, uh, of this week. Nice. And I'm just going to write a reply to Jet real quick. Oh, ooh, there's a car. Uh, Oh, come back. Record our episodes. Oh, well, I missed it. Keep running. Here's a car. Uh, you're too, f- you're too flash. Shitty truck. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. Judge Let me Not off. epic. I like the talk show oh, radio, nice. but I'm going to turn off the radio so it doesn't distract from. Copyright strike. Yeah. Uh, okay, the biggest PC gaming stories this week. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft Flight Sim requirements released, TF2 and CSGO source code leak, and the PC gaming show is coming in June. So I'll just go through this article. Right. Um, so, oh, I have to click on this link to find the article. <laughs> uh, so first up is um, 
the the Microsoft Flight Simulator recommended specs. Let's see. Ooh. All right. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh wait, no, never mind. That was just the minimum specs. <laughs> Right. It's still scheduled for a vague um, 2020 release. Alpha testing has been in progress since October. Um, but the minimum specs uh, for the CPU is a Ryzen 3 1200 um, or an Intel i5 fourth gen processor. For the graphics card, you'll need at least a Radeon RX 570 or NVIDIA GTX 770 uh, kind of with wrong. at least 2 gigs of video RAM and okay. for the RAM uh, you need at least 8 gigs the recommended specs kind of go up a little bit uh, with a CPU um, recommended of a Ryzen 5 1500X or an Intel 8th gen processor i5 the GPU you'll need uh, an RX 590 or a NVIDIA GTX 970 with 4 gigs of VRAM and recommended RAM is a beefy 16 gigs. Oof. But here we go, here's the ideal specs and I assume this will be on the top level yeah. um, like of ult running an ultra and stuff. Uh, a CPU of at least a Ryzen 7 Pro 2700X or an Intel i7 9800X, which is like probably one of the best, pro the like one of the most expensive processors okay. on the market. Uh, for the GPU, uh, Radeon 7 or an NVIDIA RTX 2080, which is like I think it's about a thousand plus dollars in Australia. All of this for a flight sim, damn. Yeah, for a flight sim. Also, your mic's gone quiet. Oh, really? Yeah, it's real quiet. Uh, am I... is my volume up on your end? Oh god, people are blowing shit up in front of me. Yeah, that, that's better. That's better. I was, I was um, just talking quietly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 8 oh, gigs of VRAM and 32 gigs of RAM of memory. Goddamn. Of RAM, RAM rather. For, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Simulator. Those are the ideal specs. Fuck. So I think... Maybe yeah, I might be able to run it at like the minimum requirements, but yeah, I can yeah. run it at I, I uh, at the recommended specs. Although I don't meet the RAM requirements, okay. but I can run it at the recommended specs. Nice. Um, probably. Probably. Um, next up is Doom Eternal's official soundtrack wasn't mixed by its composer. Um, so. Okay. Apparently, yeah. the composer of the tracks wasn't mixed by him himself. Okay. So that's that's a little little tip, tip bit of information. Apparently, no one knows why. Um, <laughs> I mean, next it's not really up, a big deal though. Yeah, but it's not a big deal. Like just kind of like, huh? Movie. Interesting. Like interesting. Yeah, movie. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't expect the composers to mix their own music. This is, yeah, this is a thing that happens. So sometimes they do for games, but not all yeah. the time. Yeah. Maybe um, they're, they're like, so maybe the there's some. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, I know movies get director's cuts, so maybe sometimes the soundtrack will get a composer's cut. Perhaps. <laughs> um, Team Fortress Two NCS Co. Go source code leaks. That was probably the biggest news story. I saw that, uh, of this previous week. I saw that blurb, but I don't really know what that means. Um, Val says not to worry. Um, yeah, it basically means that source code is basically sort of the base sort of... Um, give me a second. I don't really know what that it's means. sort of a sort of base code for like a, a a game or a program or whatever. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. So when when developers say release the source code for their their like engine or whatever, it means people can like use that code to, like games within that engine or whatever. All right. So it's good for like modding and stuff. 
Yeah, it can be. Uh, and it can be good for making, like, hacks and stuff, apparently, right. too. All right, um, so I see why so that would be kind of why people would be worried, yeah. because you could cheat pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Val, Val did say there's no reason to be alarmed, yeah, yeah. but um, the people, people were worried. Yeah, people were worried uh, for fear of malware as well. Right, that makes sense. Uh, Oh, yeah, Jesus, you can use it to make power or whatever. Fighting on the streets. Oh my god, I just saw that. What is this, <laughs> Perth drivers? <laughs> They're just shooting each other. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but apparently the source code that was leaked uh, was source code from 2017 or 2018. Right. So it's like nothing to worry about because it's not the latest sort of source code, so it won't really... Uh, don't really do much. Nice, nice. Um, so it's not it's not super dangerous, but they are continuing uh, investigations. Okay. So I don't think anything too much, um, good. too harmful will come out of that. Yeah, but people are still kind of freaking out about it. One thing I read was that uh, cheaters on Call of Duty Warzone, people who are like um, reported cheating will be put into matchmaking against other people who have been reported cheating. <laughs> that, that's kind of funny. Yeah. I read that a little earlier. It's like, I, thought, it, I thought it was hilarious. Because they're kind of getting what's given to them, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's like in GTA or something, when you have, like, bad karma or something, and you get matched with other bad, like, yeah. sort of players, or bad karma players. Fuck. That's pretty... That's a good idea. Yeah. Um... I don't know why I'm reading out Fallout 76 news, but uh, it's always interesting to see how they're trying to, what they're doing with their terrible game. Supposedly it's gotten better, um, just from what um, I've heard. I'm still not going to play because yeah. it's way too expensive for what it is. But yeah, yeah, exactly. I've heard it's better than it than it was. Like people are think, saying like it's closer to an actual Fallout game than it was. Yeah. Um, Fallout 76's new NPCs are stealing weapons from dead players. Yes, I saw that. I saw the, the headline for that, but yeah. uh, I, I didn't read the article, but apparently... Uh, to, they're like, until there's a fix, either don't bring your best weapons to events or don't <laughs> die, I guess. Yeah. That's hilarious. NPCs yeah. stealing your, your best guns. Uh, <laughs> and just not giving them... Um, yeah, that's that's pretty funny, honestly. I, I could just imagine watching a player die, and then an NPC run up to them and yoink the weapons. <laughs> just be watching them. <laughs> and they'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, apparently Star game. Citizen... Oh yeah, as you were saying. I was going to say, take that for playing this stupid game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Deserved for playing this game. Um, Star Citizen pl players aren't pleased with the recent roadmap changes. Uh, the crowdfunding champion still has no release date, and this week some of the dates on its roadmap were moved or removed entirely. Fans weren't happy to hear of still more delays for Star Citizen, which has been in development for almost 10 years already. Right. That's a long development that, time. That is I remember cool. hearing about Star Citizen I have not a long, it, long time ago. It's, it's still a long time to be in development. Yeah. It's like games and there's still no have, release date. It's like games that have just kind of stuck in like development limbo don't end up yeah, being yeah. good. It's kind of weird. How uh, it most of the time, yeah. yeah. It's always nice when uh, a game is does end up being um, good after being in development hell. I'm thinking of like... Um, isn't Star like, Citizen like mega expensive? I think it was like that, that Duke Nukem game that came out on the 360 that was in development Which for game? like Duke, Duke Nukem. Oh, Duke Nukem yeah. Forever, yeah. It was in development for like 10 years and turned out to be an absolute yeah, steady was pile of terrible. shit. Terrible. It's because like that, that era is sort of long gone, like the era of Duke Nukem, mm -hmm. like the 90s and that. Like he worked Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's not. Like, it doesn't have the same sense. It doesn't really work as a character anymore. Yeah. yeah. Plus, he was um, just like a ripoff of uh, 90s action heroes anyway. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. 
I can't Whoa. see how much Star Citizen is. I'm checking my phone, I almost drove off. Because <laughs> I remember, like... unless I'm remembering a different game. But, unless uh, I'm remembering a different game. Fighting on the roads. Oh my god, <laughs> people. Oh yeah, it's like 45 bucks or something. Maybe, I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, uh, next up is the PC gaming show will re return on June 6th, which is basically E3, but for, well, it's it's part of E3, but it's still being broadcast on June 6th, so that should be fun. Oh yeah, cool. So, it so it's be... good to see that at least. It'll be like online probably, like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will. There's been lots of um, like online stuff, like, what I heard, there's uh, if if you play Minecraft, there's a concert in Minecraft called Block by Block West, featuring oh yeah lots of punk bands. Let me read it. Nice. Was so, Riot? I've never heard of them, but apparently they're a punk band. Okay. Um, they're to be playing. Oh shit! That helicopter's just shooting up that guy right by the mission that I need to go. Nope. Let me just ignore that. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> before I start the mission. So, Pussy Riot to play Minecraft Virtual Festival Block by Block West, which starts. This is this Saturday. When was this posted? Oh, this will be today then. So oh, nice. By the time this goes up, uh, people would have, it would have already happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, there's a few bands playing. That's. Pretty cool, uh, actually. Let's see that lineup. Plus your riot, nothing, nowhere. Uh, I've never heard of any of these guys. I was going to read the lineup, but I've literally heard of none of them. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Um, idols, never heard of them. It's the same as um, Travis Scott. Travis Travis Scott. So it was mm. playing um, a concert in um, in Fortnite. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's happening over a few days as well, I think, over this weekend also. So if you play Fortnite, get on that. And what else did I read? I read a game called Hoka Life. It's coming to PC this year, yeah. which is uh, which is a life sim close to that of Animal Crossing. So if you don't own a... a if you don't own a Switch, like I don't, then get on that life sim stuff. Because everyone nice. seems to be loving Animal Crossing right yeah. now. But, um, and if you don't have a Switch... Yeah, go get this game, Hocker Life. If you don't have a Switch, you should buy a Switch anyway. I mean, get Hocker Life. Get Hocker Life. <laughs> have been using explosives on our supply convoys. Okay. And we've got to Epico, get, get it now. Get it Take now. The and blow up those bombs on our terms, Rico. Get in the car. Yeah, I, I saw an article about that. That does seem pretty interesting. Yeah. So it started off as like a train, train sim, apparently. Or like a train. Oh, okay. What's it? Um, get in the fucking car. Mm. Get in the car. Stupid NPCs. Get in. Get in. Look at this guy. Get in now. Look at him. Oh Hurry my up. god. Get in the car. Oh my god. Do it. Do it now. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for him. See, let's find a vehicle with two seats. I've got a vehicle with two seats. Nice. Is he gonna get in? You gonna get in? I literally can't start the mission without you. Oh my god. Let's <laughs> run him over. Ugh. Here's what I'll do. What will you do? <laughs> I'll just try him off and <laughs> see what happens. Okay. He's not getting- he's not even coming to the car. Get in the fucking car. Dude, come on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna drown this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
the room. <laughs> oh, nice, nice water. There we go. <laughs> Train <laughs> Training done. Because yeah. that other cunt wouldn't get in the car. God damn. Um. Anyway. Enemy yeah. spies have been using explosives on our supply Hoka life. So comes out yet. soon. I don't think there's a release Danger date confirmed, but. Okay. Good, finally. Fuck you now. Let me video. check that out while you're doing that. Yeah, you find the thing. It's like, I find it hard to read the articles while playing. <laughs> uh, it's planned release date is 2020. 2020, that's this year, definitely. <laughs> so it's, yeah, sometime this year. It kind of looks like my time at Porsche almost just was slightly more Animal Crossing style graphics. Yeah. I think they worked on it. The, the developer worked on something similar. Oh shit, my car's rolling Wonders, away. Wonder scope, let's see what they did. Team 17. Oh, I know them. They, yeah, they did worms. What did they do? Yeah, worms, that's what it was. Yeah. And overcooked. Yeah. Very, very good the developer. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh wait, that's my team. Why am I killing them? <laughs> <laughs> Friendly fire. Yeah, get in the car. Get in the car. God, my time at Porsche is so so uh, expensive now. Is it? It's forty forty two dollars a ah, UV. I think I got it for like ten. And it was on sale. Nice. So oh, okay, yeah, so Team seventeen was the publisher for my time at Porsche. Alright. Ah, yeah, they've done a heap. Heap of um, indie games yeah, yeah. that I grew up on. I just remember nice. Worms being one of them. Yeah, Worms is a classic. Oh yeah. Although, make golf with your friends, apparently. Nice. That's fun, I love golf with your friends. What else have they done? They've done heaps of stuff. I just can't remember yeah. them off the top of my head. A lot of Worms. Uh, the Escapists. Apparently, wait, what do they? They published ukulele. Ukulele. Ah, uh, okay. Again, kind of sucked though. Yeah, it did. <laughs> they pub. They do publish a lot of games as well as develop their own. Hey, don't you fucking throw a grenade at me? <laughs> you <laughs> golf. Oh Jesus! All right. Oof. Back to the car. Where my cargo? Where my team? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, the team seventeen are publishing Hunker Life. Come on, come on. Nice. I see, I see. Yeah, it looks interesting. Actually, it looks very similar to Animal Crossing. It, yeah, slightly more realistic graphics. I take no pleasure in firing my weapon. Uh, or by slightly more realistic, I mean people that are taller. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty much. But they were um, they were influenced by. Uh, yeah, Animal Crossing clearly. Animal Crossing, yeah. But apparently, the developer like it started off as like a train sim, and then they um, and then they kind of started to zoom in closer and closer to the villages, and they're like, actually, kind of like this. Guys, get out! Get oh, out! Nice. Get out! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, so, they started to um, interested in the little NPCs inside the village, and then it pretty much turned into oh, nice. a little, yeah. And then it turned into a little animal sim. Um, I've got a list yeah. of May game releases here that I might read out really quick before we start in this mission. Okay. Right. So, Your mic. That's because I'm really far away from it. Okay. okay. Uh, so we have Wonderful 101 Remastered for PS4 Ooh, nice. and Switch coming May 19th. That was a good game. Never played it, but it looks kind of interesting. Super yeah, Sentai yeah. It was one of the better Wii U games. Oh, nice. It's like a cross between Bayonetta and Pikmin. <laughs> yeah, basically. Neat. Uh, we've got Minecraft Dungeons for Xbox One and PC, May 26th. Mm -hmm. Probably for um, Game Pass as well. 
We got Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition for Switch. Yeah, very excited for that. Hell yeah. Another game series I've never played before. <laughs> is it is it quite old? Maybe I could play it on a it future episode. Came, it came out... Um, Xenoblade Chronicles came out in 2010 on the Wii. Oh, wow. I think I've got... I think um, I can work on the Dolphin emulator. Yeah, yeah, it should do. Got, um, we've got, uh, the Xeno series itself. Hmm. This is technically a spiritual successor to the Xeno series. Um, has been around since 1998. There was like uh, Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga uh -huh. um, from like 1998 to um, 2006, and then Xenoblade Chron Chronicles came out as like a sort of spiritual successor in oh, 2010, man. and it's become its sort of own uh -huh. sub -series, series, the Xenoblade series. Neat. It has uh, Chronicles X on the Wii, at, uh, on the Wii U, sorry, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on the Switch. Um, it's basically considered like a part of the whole Xeno series, even though originally it had a different name. Oh, yeah. But they put Xeno in it as like sort of a tribute to the to the creators' like original okay. works. Oh, cool. And, yeah. Um, what else we got? We got John Wick Hicks on the PS4 coming May fifth. We got. Hatsune Miku Project Defense nice. for the Switch. We got Hell Star yeah. Wars Episode yeah, 1 Racer. Oh, yeah, I gotta get that. For PS4 and Switch. Now, we this got, is part racing. We got Saints Row the Third Remastered for all current gen except the Switch. Ooh, nice. We got, oh, rude. We got Ninjala for the Switch. We got Shantae Oh, I saw that. That looks pretty cool. In the Seven Sirens. For. All current gen, we've got Bioshock Collection coming out for Switch, and the Borderlands mm -hmm. Legendary Collection for Switch, XCOM nice. 2 Collection for Switch, and yeah, Xenoblade Definitive Edition. Oh yeah. That's um, all coming out next month. So, I had... I had something I remembered. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was, though. <laughs> Heck. Um, but... Fantasy Star Online 2 finally gets a PC release next month in North America. Nice, nice. Um, Fantasy Star has been on like around since the 90s, I think. Alright. Um, I think, no like, like Fantasy Star Online. Wait, where's the Fantasy Star Online the series? Yeah, it first came out on in. Fantasy Star Online first came out in uh, yeah. 2000, I think, All right. on the Dreamcast and GameCube and Xbox and Windows. Um, apparently, those servers shut down for the original one a while ago, but apparently people still um, uh, still made private servers for them, because they were pretty dedicated. They still oh, here we go, the fan... Yeah. Oh, I'm cool. pretty sure. Um, the Fantasy Star series itself has been around since 1987, apparently. Oh, wow. That's a long sort of series, and the online series has been around since, um, yeah, 2000. And it came out, Fantasy Star Online 2 came out in Japan and Asia in 2012. Oh, so it's finally getting a Western release uh, this year. Huh. So, like. Finally. <laughs> eight, eight years after initial yep. release. They're finally going to get it. Where's the release? That's cool. Yeah, and, and apparently it's free on both console and PC, so I'll be keen oh, cool. to play that when it comes out. Hell yeah. So apparently it's going to come out in late May yeah, on the people. Microsoft Store. Uh, but you get bonus. This is <laughs> for you. You get bonuses if you're an Xbox Game Pass subscriber. Hell yeah. I should subscribe to that. Oh, I remember that article. Um, for Xbox owners, owners, I was a bit disappointed when uh, it didn't say PC. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to the Xbox Game Pass. Oh yeah. And but instead, GTA 5 is leaving uh, the Xbox Game Pass to be replaced by Red Dead 2. Right. It's been um, a few good games coming out on 
Game Pass. I'm glad I got it. Yeah, it's very worth it. I still it's need to get it. Thank you for getting it. It's so cheap every month. It's only like six bucks or something. Nice. Super, super, super cheap. Epical. Yeah. Yeah, very worth it. And you just, like... Go buy it now. You get a bunch of games that you can install so for free. Games. Yeah. Well, not for free, because you're paying for a monthly. Yeah. But you can play them as much but as you it, like. do it now. Games that usually cost, like... Again, six, between 60 to 100 dollars. <laughs> You just yeah. get for six bucks a month. Exactly. Eventually, it will work out being that much, but you would you would have already played through the game by that point. Yeah, and yeah. Moved on to another game. Sure. So, like, sure. Like um, after after a few about a year of playing, it would pay for itself. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, but by that point, you know, you would have already finished the game and moved on. Yeah, for sure. So you're um, technically getting it for cheaper than. Uh, retail price. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, yeah, Red Dead isn't. Yeah, so buy Xbox Game Pass now. Get it now. Do it now. Do it now. Uh, I recommend. Oh, I will call the police. And I will steal your pee pee. <laughs> ah, fucking spiders. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it's not. Uh, Red Dead isn't the PC version, which sucks. Because I've been meaning to play it, get the PC version, but it's so expensive. Shit, I'm out of ammo. But oh well. Nice. Oh well, that's fine. It will come to PC eventually. Just got away. Well, well I mean, it will. I Red Dead is on. Red, Red Dead is on PC, but. Um, it will come to Game Pass soon. PC. Yeah, come, and then you can get that sweet, game sweet free game. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I am, as people, long-time viewers may know, I am. You know, I love getting some free games. That's why I play. That's why. I yeah, you love the store. free games, yeah. and you love catching up on the last twenty years of gaming. Yeah, so that's why I'm on Epic Store. Some people hate Epic Store because. Yeah, they have their reasons, but I like free games, so I don't give a shit. I just like it for the free games. I don't like any other part of it. Yeah. Most of it sucks, but free games, hell yeah. Give me them weekly free games. This is how I'm playing this current game right now. Approved. It's all, it's all legal. Legal free games. Because piracy is bad. Exactly. You kind of get to a point where you wouldn't when... download a car. I would. <laughs> you get to a point in your life where you kind of. Where, like. I remember I was pirating fucking everything. But then you get to a point in your yeah. life where you just want to. You want to buy the shit. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It feels exactly. good. Like, I know. There's heaps of people on, like the servers that are like, oh, let's read the One Piece scans, I don't care that it's pirated. But I'm like, no, I want to I want to pay for a Viz subscription because, I don't know, there's something feels good about oh, like uh, for manga. Yeah. And it's I the same with all, shit. <laughs> shit. It's the same with all pirated material though. Like, be it games, movies, whatever. There's just something nice about doing it legit. You kind of feel mm. like you've earned it. But, yeah, I get that, I get that. That's it. Yeah. There's something better about it. Yeah, I, can't explain I it, but don't really. It's just I don't really pirate games anymore, no. like because I love the feeling of buying, like yeah. working. Exactly. Getting the money for a new game and then buying it. It's very yeah. satisfying. Exactly. Pirating games and pirating movies. It's all fun and well, but it's just nicer to to pay for it or at least pay for a subscription to the service that provides it. Say like Netflix or something. Exactly. Exactly. Well, like I just ran into the side of a car. Epical. Hopefully, once I finish this mission, we can finish up because it's uh, been about thirty-four minutes on the clock. We really doing it. Oh, good. Oh, good. I think my tires are being shot out because I keep sliding out everywhere. Yeah. True. So the first half of this recording was boring, just nothing, and then the second half of it is me yeah. trying to do this one mission and killing a trainee. Yeah. Killing a trainee because he wouldn't get in my fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Did I leave the keys in the truck? Did I leave the keys in the truck? Woo. Woo. Alright. I 
think I'm almost at the last like an aeroplane just spawned out of nowhere. Do you want some of this? <laughs> oh shit. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Shit, 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 get out, get out. No, 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 no. That was so dumb. <laughs> I always killed my dudes. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I shouldn't have driven into the explodey. That was Wait. stupid. <laughs> Yeah, not a good idea. No, I'm not going to finish this mission for this recording. Oh, good. Oh, well, that was fun. Uh, yeah, that was Just Cause 4. It's still free right now on the Epic Store, as far as I know. And there is another... Get it now. There is another free game as well, actually. Um, currently. So, if you like free yeah. games, I am no way sponsored by Epic, though if they want to sponsor me, that would be great. <laughs> I would I wouldn't say Do no to some some epic sponsors. <laughs> yes. Or any sponsors that would be at all. Epic. That would be haha, <laughs> epic. Um it's called For the King. That's this week's uh free game. Nice. And it's like a turn based strategy roguelike. Which sounds interesting. Seems pretty good. Um apparently it's kinda like D and D, but like just the combat element of it. Okay. Yeah. But um, seems pretty interesting. Yeah. So it looks pretty cool. It's usually sixteen dollars. It's New Zealand dollars. Um. So it'd be nice. like ten. It'd be like ten US dollars. So it's usually about that much, but currently it's free. And it looks cool. Hell yeah! Y'all should get it. But you should get it now. Yeah, but that should about wrap it up for the show. Indeed, um, indeed. Thanks for watching me struggling to finish one mission. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll be back again next week, same day, same ish time. Um, don't forget to. Same ish time, probably. <laughs> make sure to do that liking and subscribing stuff. That's always good for us. And yeah. um, share and hit the bell and all that good things. The, the usual things that people say at the end of their Just videos. Stuff. Yeah. Do it now, we'll call the police. We, we could come up with a proper ending, but I like this improvised stuff. Yeah, it's I like a lot more interesting. Um, also, join our Discord server. It's still up. We want more people to join. You just do follow the follow the Discord link in the description, and that will take you to our server, where I post daily videos of me playing bass. <laughs> yes. It's um, epic. Well, at the moment, during lockdown anyway until I go back to work then I probably will stop doing that but it's been fun Sad. come up with some cool songs and every week I post the new uh, KFM video so if you don't Sad. have the notification bell then you'll at least get the discord ping so join that mm. like subscribe all that good stuff um, thanks for watching thanks for joining me as always Chloe you're welcome and we'll be back next week with a different game I don't know what I usually come up with them usually a day or two beforehand yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see you next we'll week see. all right see you later bye bye, bye.